Poor service delivery is a social problem affecting everybody. In a community meeting like this one at Masafu sub-county Busia district, communities verify their issues to their leaders as raised through the WUKNET's SMS platform, commonly known as Omlimisa. These moments help leaders and the community chart solutions to issues related to poor service delivery. It is one of the methods used by WUKNET's ICT project on promoting citizen engagement with the leaders for accountability and transparency in public service delivery. With financial support from the Swedish International Development Corporation, SIDA, the project covers three districts of Busia, Tororo, and Palisa. The project works in two sub-counties in each of the districts. Tororo district, Rubongi and Magola sub-counties, Masaba and Sikuda in Busia district, and Olok and Palisa in Palisa district. The project was designed to use ICTs to bridge the gap between citizens and their leaders to improve accountability and transparency in the service delivery framework. Throughout the project area, the project advocates for good governance and improved service delivery. The idea is to have grassroots communities demand improved service delivery across all sectors. The project promotes use of ICTs in the course of implementation, which makes interventions compatible to technology advancements. Some of the ICTs employed include mobile phones, radios, digital cameras, newsletters, newspapers, and other forms of social media platforms. The project established an SMS platform that is employed to receive and send messages from communities and leaders on poor service delivery issues. The messages received are forwarded to duty bearers. This platform mainly receives complaints from all the sectors. The Vigilant Communities is an outcome of the project's awareness creation strategy and capacity building trainings which does not only build confidence to demand for one's human right, but also gives knowledge on how to monitor advocate and negotiate the demand to create service delivery and governance. We are happy to have very positive community. As we keep on moving on, they keep on increasing in the number, but also they increase on keeping on the vigilance and the confidence, and they are willing to engage with the leaders more than before. A lot of voices from community is required by the project's design of activities, which have subjected so many duty bearers to honesty. In fact, in terms of democracy and human rights, it has also empowered the community to have a freedom of expression. To the leaders, the community members pointed it out to the chairman, LC3, to stop breaking, to use the structures that, that it formed, it approved during his term of office. In Busia district, Masafu sub-county, one of the services required, a facelift as observed by the community, was safe water supply through advocacy by the Voluntary Social Accountability Committee of Masafu Parish. This solar water pump has been given to the community by a local non-government organization, Innovation Africa. Uh, as per now, Innovation Africa has occupied three parishes among the four parishes in Masafu sub-county with the supply of, of system of pipeline water in our sub-county. We have been working so so far to get water. Now we are well off. We get water any time. This is Osia Kidera Bridge in Rubongi sub-county Tororo district. This bridge had stalled in terms of completion for some time. The Voluntary Social Accountability Committee, VSAC, members from the area reported the matter in multiple messages which awakened the leaders. What we found out was that there are variations in terms of quotations, and costings, and therefore the bridge had issues of uh, budget deficit. But with the advocacy, the LOC5 councillor, Honorable Opio uh, Simon, I stress the issue of finishing up the completion of the what? Of the project. During a community engagement meeting at Sikuda Sub-County, the Community Development Officer, CDO, was tasked to explain why youth livelihood funds had not been given to the beneficiaries. 
Madam CDO, here you are. There was an issue that there is delay in the release of youth livelihood funds and women funds. Currently, they released the money and the projects are going on well. Other issues related to gold mining at Tira Town Council have also been worked on. Gold mining is really a problem. That's why I say that uh, uh, government now uh, uh, is uh, putting uh, strict laws to see that all people who are carrying out gold mining within the area, uh, they, they are supposed to acquire a uh, certificate and the ministry. Then that certificate, you come with it to cow. It is now cow to come and authorize uh, you to carry out the, the mining. Olo Zadok from Rubongi Sub County says, before the inception of the project in his locality, there were a number of issues affecting the community. There is a parish called Osia Parish. This parish, LS1s were not, co were not cooperating. They were divided and things were done in a parted way. But now, since Rugnet came, it helped us raise this issue to the platform. And I'm telling you, LS1s are now cooperating. Abo Deborah from Kidera Parish recalls the dark days when women were voiceless in her community. Rugnet have emp empowered women because for me, as a woman, deep in the village here, my voice was not heard anywhere. But as Wugonet came, we have succeeded because the Wugonet is working and the Wugonet is giving us also opportunity to lead. For communities of Dabani and Masafu, Mumira Bridge is being fixed. Due to the long distance from Busia, Majan to Kampala Road, so there are our people of Busia and our political leaders, they decided to demand a, a shortcut from Busia, Namayingo to Musita Road. From Busia to Majan is 27 kilometers. Works on renovations at St. Agnes Mela Primary School in Magola sub county is one of the evidence how the community has monitored their environment. We'd like to register our shivers in terms of, at least for so far, they built two latrines, and that's done by the district. Another shipment is the bar hole. So far we've got two different bar holes. One was done by Hope, uh, Hope for Kids International, and the other one is by the district. Being a James, the coordinator of WOGNET activities in Palisa district says, there has been a lot of transformation as far as service delivery is concerned. We went up with the Sabu County headquarters. We found that there were very many nemesis there. Uh, Sabu County chiefs, they used to even complete the full oh, two weeks when they are not working. The CDOs, the same. Some teachers are gone as far as even to go to the cattle market on the day of what? The day of, te of teaching. Nevertheless, Project implementers face challenges. Challenges we have are mostly uh, structural challenges. For instance, we've had issues of parish shifts lacking. We pushed, now they've, they've recruited. We still have issues of teachers. We have less teachers. When they transfer to another school, they don't replace them. Some are earning money from the school where they left. So there's a lot of confusion in the education sector where we work, and this one's cutting across all places. The efforts of the grassroots communities as stakeholders have seen the project sail through the storm by ease.